Morning, sir. Nothing dire. Another civilian due any moment. Instructed in the gentle art of the fellow suit. Agent Boisier. Eh, Boisier, Mills Boisier. Agent will advise destination. Please deliver. Shouldn't fancy that job myself. Going off behind the hun lines, taking a chance on being shot out of hand. All on your tug, too, takes a special kind of chance. It's true. It's just something about spying. It's not very British, is it? <laughs> I know what you mean, sir. Still. Today's flight orders for you to sign, sir. Hmm. Come in. You initial the copies. Oh, Captain Triggers? Yes, you must be Mr. Bossier. Actually, the name's Starling, Michael Starling. Oh, oh no, I think we've got our wires crossed somewhere. Sit here. Mm, you're Agent Bossier. I'm your replacement pilot. Oh. Mills? Um, yes, there is a Mr. Starling on posting, sir. Yes? From Artists' Right. The very same. Were well, you supposed to bring in aeroplane? Yes. And why are you dressed like that? It's a long story. I'm all ears. I decided to dine with Lee Carr en route, you see. No, I don't see. Another fellow of all souls on temporary attachment to our embassy in Paris. I mean to say it seemed to have good an opportunity to miss. And with his mother being German, to have turned up in the uniform of a country's enemies would have been, shall we say, crass. Hence, do you see? Where's your aeroplane? I'm coming to that. We dined, do you see? Not wisely, but too well. <laughs> on the contrary, not too well, but unwisely. Personally, I'm inclined to blame the crevice. Not to cut a long story short, I blacked out. When I came to, I couldn't for the life of me remember where I left my aeroplane, do you see? So I thought I'd best make haste here and confess. Ah, with you for a replacement, we hardly need an enemy. Oh, that's a trifle harsh. Yes. As it happens, I'm very good on theory. In fact, the reason I didn't pay too much attention to where I'd landed was that I was trying to get my mind around the correlation between fuel load and range. It ought to be a constant, do you see? Only how do you correct it for altitude? Thinner atmosphere would throw the whole calculation out. Unless you allow for it, in which case you'd have to have specific data. Stop! Stop! It's all to do with Stop. gravity of route. <coughs> sir? Yes, Miles? That was RFC Candace, sir. They seem to have won a VE2 that was meant for us. Complete with Mr. Starling's kit. <laughs> I knew it would turn up. I'm also extraordinarily lucky, do you see? Long term, come to think of it. That's to say, overall. In the short run... Go and get it. How do I reach Canada? You Canada's? can walk. On hands and knees, as far as I'm concerned. Look, I'm willing to tolerate a certain degree of Donnish eccentricity, but if you and I are going to rub along, you're going to have to get your practical competence on nodding terms with your theoretical ability. Now, we need you. God help us. You get that aeroplane here by noon tomorrow, or I'll personally see that you're court-martialed, do you see? Vividly. And report to me when you get back, in uniform, if you please. Sir. Why do they find me? Is a mind we can use. Yes, sir. Why is Mr. Gallion's aeroplane still grounded? We're waiting for a front left hand top what? center section of fish. Bay. Park promised us that yesterday, didn't they? Yes, sir, but promises don't cost him. Get me Park on the telephone. Yes, sir. No, no. Second thoughts after this morning's alarms and excursions. Let's have another cup of tea. Then get me Park. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir. Oh, no tea. Well, yes, no sir, but tea. there's something I want to tell I know. you, sir. Civilian we've expected has arrived. Well, yes, sir, in All a manner right, of Sergeant, speaking, sir. Me. Sir, it's not exactly. Sergeant! What we please, better make it two teas. Yes, sir. And don't let up on aircraft park. And if you can't get through to them, get me Major Lansing. We'll get him to drop a bomb on them. All right. Right. <laughs> Must be some mistake. Captain Triggers? Yes. Well, my orders are to report to you. <laughs> My orders to drop you behind enemy lines. I repeat, no, there must be some mistake. Don't be old-fashioned. No, my dear Miss Boissier. Madame. Is it, what? Madame Boissier. What? Well, Madame Boissier. This is a ridiculous situation. Hadn't you better yes. check your orders before taking it upon yourself to ignore them? Don't teach me military etiquette. Would you like to sit down? Thank you. Well, this is a monstrous proposition. Why? You don't fight a war with women. Nonsense. What about Bodicea? Anyway, spying's the second oldest profession for women. Marginally less attractive than the first. Will you be piloting me personally? Yes. When do we leave? At first light. Good, then perhaps you can tell me where I can put myself. Well, that's then. rather a difficult problem, you see, because you've elected to do a distasteful mission and I'm ordered to expedite it doesn't mean I'm equipped to offer you with overnight hospitality. What I'm trying to say is that I can't undertake to guarantee your virtue Don't in a camp... Don't make excuses, please. Where can I stay? 
Mills? Your day, sir. No, not tea. Take Mrs. Madame, Madame Boissier, into the village. Find somewhere for her to, for her to stay the night. Yes, sir. Thank you. Would you come with me, madame? Would you like to have supper in the mess? Yes. Thank you. Excuse me one moment. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Allow me to introduce my brother officers, Mr. Galian. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, Mr. Bramington. Absolutely Thank delighted. You. Mr. Gaston Jones, here. Yeah. Good evening. How do you do? And Mr. Starling, no, right there. How do you do? It's your birth sign, Aquarius. Well, yes, it is, as it happens. A surprise would have been, were it not. But Madame Boissier, our lady spy. Well, now I know what all the wolf whistles were about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very flattered. I missed all that. Well, you've no one to blame but yourself. Uh, Dear boy. Let me get you a drink. No, no, please, let me. No, look here, let me. I pass. Well, shame on you. I <laughs> eschew the herd. Oh, do shut up. Yes, both of you. What would you like? Chambéry, if I may. You certainly could. Listen, possible. we got any chambre? As far as I'm concerned, she got bathed in the stuff. <laughs> oh, God. Um, no, we haven't got any. I hadn't even heard of it. One of the lesser-known driver moves. Sorry. Never mind. Perno will be fine. I see you have that. Coming up. Oh, that makes my legs drop off. <laughs> I could live with that. But I'll align myself with the herd to this extent. If Mrs. Boissier's legs were to drop off, I should feel a more than aesthetic sense of loss. What's he talking about? Thank you. Thank you. Here we are. Thank you. Well, <laughs> cheerio. Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is a tribute. Um, I just wanted to wish you luck. Personally, I couldn't sleep. Well, if you'd like to sit in the front seat, please. Let's step through the canvas. Well, let me give you a hand. Hey, a, a leg up would be more to the point. We've gone a couple of hours. I managed to winkle a fish plate from Park, so you're airborne again. Oh, splendid. Come on, come on, the two of you. Come on, sorry. Safe home. Good luck. Thank you. Switches off, petrol on. Switches off, petrol on. Air closed, suck in. Contact? Contact. Well, it should be possible to start the propeller from the cockpit. Well, until Contact. they do, just remember your starting procedure, otherwise they'll have to have your mechanic's head off. Oh, worse. Switches off, petrol on. Switches off, petrol on. Air closed, suck in. Contact. Contact. That engine's running a bit rough, isn't it? Dirty petrol. It settled down when the ignition's retarded a bit. The theory has killed more pilots than the Hun to date. That's the fact.
all right. About three miles short of my rendezvous. Thankful we're still alive. What's the trouble? Shrapnel. Taking a chunk out of the oil field. What are you going to do? Burn the machine. Then you can't fly back. It's a high pressure pump. It's no good just tying this up. Unless I can replace it. Or at least brace it. I'm going to lose oil so fast. The engine's going to seize up before I can take off. No one seems to have spotted us. There must be a plumber or a mechanic somewhere who could help me mend it. It's a risk, you know. I thought you said you were short of aeroplanes. No. And it's a risk worth taking to be able to get this one back. Not to mention yourself. All right. Come on. Yes. Well, well, a sheer fluke. On the contrary, it was a demonstration of applied trigonometry. Sufficient to give me the game. Oh, any news? Well, he, he could have landed at another airfield. No, no chance, I'm afraid. I was mills around. run. Nobody's seen him. Well, he might have made a forced landing. I mean, that engine didn't sound a bit healthy. Just whistling in the dark. Oh, don't be so damned defeatist. Well, we could go and look for him, couldn't we? Don't know where to start. Oh, come on. He, now, he must have left a copy of his flight plan. Well, perhaps. Well, then we quarter it until we find him, don't we? Or a hole in the ground. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. I'm afraid I can't risk it. You can't risk it. In Captain Trigger's absence, I am acting flight commander, you know. Not to appear thrusting, but I'll go if you like. Look, I can't risk an aeroplane, far less a pilot, to go swanning off on some mercy mission. I can't believe my ears. The time you came down in the lines, Triggers and Sergeant Farmer didn't dither about making excuses. They came in and bailed you out. Much good it did Farmer in the long run. Farmer? Your predecessor. I don't think I haven't forgotten that. Then act as if you haven't. The circumstances were entirely different, you know. You're making excuses. On that occasion, they didn't know where I was, and I was just inside our lines. I hope you sleep easy. Are you flatly forbidding a search? Oh, no, God, don't you start. I merely seek to establish what you're saying without equivocation. I'm saying that I wouldn't be justified in ordering a search. That's what I'm saying. Are you a Catholic? No? Why? If you were, you'd be a Jesuit. Comme ça, demain matin, notre ami pourra rejoindre ses camarades. Et vous, madame, vous pourrez poursuivre votre mission. Je vous remercie, vous êtes bien gentil. Oh, je vous en prie, c'est un honneur de pouvoir vous rendre service. Bon, maintenant, faites comme chez vous, hein. mettez-vous à votre aise. Je reviens tout de suite. Merci beaucoup. Well, it seems we're on the limit of a sector held by the Prussian Guard. The locals don't trouble them at all, which is very depressing. But the good news is that the curé's housekeeper has a brother who's a mechanic. She's been sent to tell him what you need. He'll come tonight and see what he can do, and in the morning we can go our separate ways. The French is very good. My husband was French. Was? He was killed in the first week of the war. We'd been married three months. I'm sorry? When I heard the news at first, I... Then I decided to help in any way I could. I see. Do you? You strike me as the sort of man that takes care to be ruled by his head, not by his heart. Anyway, it's very good of you to go to all this trouble to help me to get back. Oh, hardly. If the Germans find your machine, they'll come looking for you. If they find you, they'll find me. The sooner you and your aeroplane are back where you came from, the safer I shall be. What's that? It's me, too. Don't go. I must. You'll be looking for me. If we didn't attract the Germans' attention, this will. No more reason.
Right. You want to make some money? Huh? Pour vous de l'argent. Ah oui. Ah oui. The trouble is I haven't got any. Ah. You could sell this. De l'or. Vous pouvez le vendre. Hein? Oh. Oh, merci. Suivez-moi. Les Allemands doivent croire que le pilote est mort dans les flammes. C'est ce que j'espère. Mmh, je suis sûr. <rire> Seulement maintenant, il va falloir trouver autre chose. Vous en faites pas. Je vais voir si les patriotes du pays peuvent le raccompagner. Vous pouvez lui demander d'essayer ses vêtements Je vais essayer. Vous en faites pas, jeune homme. On les aura. <rire> the curé is trying to arrange an escape route for you. But you won't be able to travel in uniform. You don't want to spend the rest of the war in a prisoner of war camp, do you Englisches Flugzeug. Und fast ganz zerstört. Muss wohl beim Absturz Feuer gefangen haben. Ja, fast durch verbrannt. Und ohne Pilot. Ohne Besatzung. Hm. Wo sind die Leichen? War ja kein. Ich empfehle, dass man die ganze Gegend durchsucht. Sofort! No sign of it. Oh, Mrs. Boissier. No, there's been no sign of trouble either, other than a fractured oil field. Seeing as I was well behind enemy lines, I deemed it wise not to dally, so I persuaded a French troglodyte to douse the aeroplane in petrol and made tracks for home, destroying the damaged aeroplane with a well-judged shot from my very pistol. Yes, yes, I know it's a routine to destroy an aeroplane rather than let it fall into enemy hands. I just did it. Hang on. Now, what Richard means is that if triggers didn't destroy it... If he didn't it. burn it, then he must have had a very good reason. Oh, God. Well, never mind. You weren't to know that. No, but you were. Yes, well, I never ordered this mission, did I? No, you were too damn busy hedging your bets. I should have realized. Yes, you should have done. You're always so busy theorizing. This was one time when you could have put it to good use. Realize why Triggers hadn't burnt his machine. Well, between you, you've managed to cut off his means of escape. Mais il est absolument impossible d'être catholique sans être patriote. One can be a patriot without being a Catholic. But one cannot be a good Catholic without being a patriot. I'll drink to that. Il est d'accord avec vous. Bah, bien sûr. Les voulants! Judas! Nous sommes français des civils innocents. On dînait avec des. Arthur! Nous sommes français des civils innocents. On dînait purement et simplement entre amis. Je tiens à protester. Madame, I really must ask you not to insult our intelligence. You are British spies. Landed behind our lines by aeroplane and apprehended as a result of information received. You will be tried by this field court martial convened by the authority duly vested in me as area commander. Proceedings will be conducted in English, in order that the accused here may understand them. You may confer with your defending officer. Mais nous ne savons même pas de quoi vous parlez. En gros, moi, ce que nous sommes censés avoir fait d'être. Sit down. Fangen Sie an. 
we're on a mission. The summary court martial is now in session. The case for the prosecution is very, very direct. Request an adjournment in order to consult the accused. Refused. But then I submit that no defense makes this a travesty of justice. The accused were given an opportunity to confer with you. They not only declined, but... On the but contrary, I would now like to consult with my defending officer. They not only declined, but expressed a contempt for the court by pretending not to understand the language being used. For their sole benefit, I might add. I the... don't condone that, but your ruling means Nonetheless, that... it is my ruling. Thank you. As I was saying, the case for the prosecution is really very simple, and I will endeavor to show that the two... To prevenir les, les autorités allemandes. I searched my conscience and decided it was my duty to inform the German forces. Et, et, et c'est ce que j'ai fait. This I did. J'ai accompagné les, les soldats qui les ont arrêtés tous les deux. I accompanied the soldiers to arrest those two there. Et, et ma soeur, cette pauvre fille, elle peut bien confirmer que, que ce sont bien les, les deux espions anglais. My sister, a woman, confirmed that they were the British spies. I object. His sister's confirmation is hearsay. Agreed. The court will ignore it. You don't deny that you are British. No. The court will remember that they did. The court does have a memory. But you do deny that you are a spy. Categorically. Then how do you account for your presence here? You were on a mission behind our lines. A mission? In civilian clothing? It was diplomatic rather than military. To invert Bismarck's dictum. I beg your pardon. A war is an extension of diplomacy by other methods. Irrelevant. Agreed. The court is not assembled to explore the prosecuting officer's fund of folklore. My apologies. How did you contrive to get here? I must have crossed the lines in error. Uh, you are an experienced pilot. Yes. And you're flying from Saint Marie to where? Ah, now please, the whereabouts of a diplomatic mission cannot be confidential. RFC Candace. RFC Candace. Please. Yeah. You're flying from here to here, and at perfect weather, and by your own admission, an experienced pilot, you make a navigational error of such a dimension? Yes. But please, the court will draw their own conclusions from this. Do go on. My engine seized. I made a forced landing. When we found out where we were, we decided to hide till we worked out what to do next. As for the curé, we, we forced him to help us at gunpoint. The court has no interest in the curé. Now, please, you told the curé that you wanted escape. Yes. When, in fact, you sabotaged your airplane in an attempt to conceal your no, traces. No, in fact, it was destroyed by another British airplane. Indeed, why? To prevent it falling into your hands. Otherwise, you would now both be preparing to return to the British lines. With any luck. Do you really expect the court to believe that? Yes. No, well, well. I suggest that your story is as lacking in plausibility as it is striking in its ingenuity. Was meinen Sie dabei? Die Geschichte ist so kurz an Glaubhaftigkeit, wie sie lang an Erfindung ist. Umgründete Annahme. Overruled. Provided he can satisfy us to the facts, the prosecuting officer's inference is amply justified. Are you ready to make a closing address? If the court pleases. I submit that I prove that the two accused are spies. Now I submit whether they're able to offer a remotely credible alternative. Espionage is not only against the rules of war, it is a particularly vicious, insidious and distasteful attack that no civilized country can tolerate and never has. The penalty is death and I demand it. Most of the evidence is circumstantial. The actual witness is a poor man who got paid for his information. And anyway, even if the accused intended to spy on us, they have not done so. They were captured before they started. I don't defend spying. It is indefensible. But you cannot kill people for what they might have done. An intention, however evil, should not, in common humanity, command the death penalty. The court will adjourn to consider its verdict. Thank you for trying to defend us. Yes, thank you. Dear lady, my dear fellow, we may be at war, but we're all members of the human race, aren't we? Come straight out with it and said you were a British officer. I would have proved you were a spy. 
I declare the summary court martial we convene to deliver its verdict. Will the accused please rise? The verdict of the summary court martial is that you're both guilty as charged. Before I pass sentence, is there anything you wish to say? That yes. No. I freely admit I'm a spy. But this gentleman is a British officer who was simply carrying out orders by bringing me here. When his aeroplane was destroyed, I insisted he wear civilian clothes in order not to compromise people who might arrange his escape. You can't shoot a British officer for carrying out his duty. We admire your magnanimity. His name is Captain that... Triggers. There's an end. Search the Curé's house. You'll find his uniform and papers that will give you proof of his identity. You cannot be silent. You'll have to be forcibly restrained. Leave it be. It's no use. The sentence of the summary court martial is that you both be taken from here to a place of confinement and then to an appointed place of execution, that to be shot at dawn. Verdict and sentence are subject to confirmation. <coughs> These proceedings are at an end. I'm very sorry. You know, you left us no alternative. It was a noble gesture. Futile in the event. Well, that looks like that. Well, I don't know, sir. Well, if he'd been put in the bag, the Hummer would have let us know by now. They're pretty decent, like that. If I know Captain Triggers, he's probably given them the slip. Be making his way back at this moment. Possible. Improbable, but it's possible. Our orders from HQ for tomorrow, sir. They want us to have another go at those railway sheds. All right. Other than that, it's forward action at the discretion of the flight commander. Or acting flight commander, as the case may be. Yes. Well, can you use that nose cam for starting some machine? Came in from Park today. Well, get it fitted, would you? I already have. Sorry. Good night, sir. Oh, uh... The night duty clerk should hear of anything, be sure to make it. Right away, sir. I have to tell you that the verdict and sentence of the summary court martial has been confirmed by the High Command. I'm sorry to be the bearer of such information. Would you like the services of a priest? No, thank you. As you please. You'll be called one hour before dawn. You may order what you choose to eat. You'll also be provided with a litre of brandy. I advise you to drink it. It may give what follows an air of distance, not to say unreality. Shortly before dawn, you'll be escorted to the parade ground. They will be supported and blindfolded before sentence is carried out. For all our sakes, it will be helpful if you're able to walk there, not to say more honorable. For our part, we should try not to protract the proceedings. Any questions? No. I'm very sorry. You didn't want a priest? No. Nor you. No. Why? He can't help me to die. That sounds in character. Did you never believe? I don't mean in the virgin birth and the rest of it, but... Just God. Yes. As a child. Then I began to look around. And all this pain. Where's the love? Faith. Beyond reason. Mm, it is beyond logic, yes. By definition. That's what I can't see. Unless he's working to some plan too vast for us to comprehend. Whoever he may be. Yes. Well, if he is, I can't see it. Jean, my husband, I think he truly did. He was so sure that for a while he... We were very happy. It was more than love. 
and then he was killed. Yet if he was right, perhaps even that was what? Uh, creative in some obscure way, do you think? I hope so. For both your sakes. You're a very nice man, aren't you, underneath it all? Well... We shall see. Please, could you keep talking? What were you doing? What were you doing here? Well, anyway? I had to test and report on the morale of the civilian population. Oh, we tested that all right, didn't we? Oh, remember the curé? Oh, yes. True. Good. You never thought of marrying? God, no. Why the vehemence? Well, never occurred to me. Why? Why, why, why? Sound like a child, don't I? You don't have to answer. No, I was just thinking. God. Time we spend reacting to our own upbringing, don't we? Or against it. Yes, true. Men, I think, especially. Yeah, possible. Are your parents very unhappy? My mother was. Never showed it. Never did anything about it till I came of age, whereupon she upped and left. And you had no idea how she felt? I've always said no. Now, back of my mind, of course I did. I just never dared to face it. And your father? Oh, he was too busy to feel anything for anybody. Is it what? Making money. So, I joined the RFC and flew away. If you do meet the right person, try not to take it out on her. It's hardly likely to arise. since I joined the RFC. The past few months, the odds on it have increased daily, but... Oh, I'll face it in cold blood. Will it hurt? Will my body fail me? Yes. And are you lonely? Oh God. oh God, help me to understand. Lassen Sie uns allein und rufen Sie allen Wachsposten. Would you like a cigarette? No, thank you. We found your uniform. Could have done that hours ago. We did. We did. You must understand that by itself that proves nothing. 
except, of course, that you were an officer oh, and a gentleman. However, I checked with command who are able to confirm that you are still attached to a regular military formation. That is, insofar as your Royal Flying Corps can be so described. Do you realize you could have been shot on sight? I suggest you wear your uniform to avoid that possibility in future. However, your sentence is, uh, what's that kind of English? Ah, expunged. And you'll be sent under escort to a prisoner of war camp as soon as that can be arranged. Captain, if you excuse me. Oh, oh boy. I, I almost forgot. My servant will bring you shaving things and whatever else. What about you may Madame Boissier? Boissier? What about her? Well, she's not a spy. She's a liaison officer. A fine distinction. Don't be so cold blooded. But as it happens, I believe a real one. My problem is always to convince the High Command. She hasn't done anything. You know, I really do understand your concern. Oh. How? I had your conversation monitored. Hardly the conduct of an officer and a gentleman. If you were spies, you did not deserve such consideration. As it happens, well, at least you've been cleared. I don't give a damn what happens to me. Really? And in that case, I've wasted a great deal of my time. However, as far as the lady is concerned, I'm still trying to see what can be done. Captain.
Captain. I, uh, I have completed arrangements for your transfer to prisoner of war camp. You made me watch that. Es tut mir leid, aber ich habe nicht an Sie gedacht. I regret to say you did not even cross my mind. You must understand. I was overruled. My, my men were on edge. My one concern was to do as quickly as possible what, what had to be done. Had to be. Had to be. I was merely carrying out orders. It's been the excuse of every butcher in history. No. We are both tired. And you are understandably emotional. I hope you have a comfortable world, Captain. I trust we may meet again. We will. And when we do, I shall kill you. Brave words, my friend. Brave words. Well, if you ask me, it looks like a cage for emancipated canaries. T'was ever thus the prophet in his own country. Hey, go on, mate. Look, two contra-rotating spheres. Get the machine ready. We're fueling one now, sir. Straight away. Where's the bright spark? I flew over and destroyed my aeroplane. I regret to say that was me. Quite right. You went to know I had other plans? You should have known that, shouldn't you? Mr. Galen didn't order the mission. Being as short as you are, pilots. What's that? It's a gun mounting. I've never seen anything so ridiculous in all my life. See at a glance, it'll break the back of the beam, too.
What's he doing now? It's a system for night flying. All done with mirrors? No, lights, actually. If you had two beams set a given distance apart and at known angles... Not now. I'm sorry. If it was successful, you'd find yourself officer commanding the RFC. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop immediately. Do you know your mind? Try me. But that was in another country. The Jew of Malta. The next line. And besides, the wench is dead. Yes. I'm, I'm really very sorry. See you at PT in the morning. Good night, sir. 